Hello everybody, this is Troy, and I hadn't made a video in a while, so I wanted to, uh, to get one out there. And today I'm going to do a solve video of the truncated dueling tetra. And this is the solve state, uh, and when it is in the solve state, any uh, flat face that you turn to you will be uh, a, a consistent color. And so let me uh, go ahead and scramble this. Uh, actually, before I scramble it, uh, the one... Uh, the two things we're going to have to watch for during the solve are going to be center rotations uh, you're going to have to do, and then there is a chance for a parity because opposite edges will share the same colors. So here I've got pink and yellow, and here I've got pink and yellow. So sometimes you have to swap those uh, in the course of the solve, and we'll see if we, if we get that to happen. So let me scramble this up. <clears throat> and it doesn't take long for this one to get very scrambled looking. Uh, so here we go. Now, normally, if you if you solve, and this is a three by three, if you haven't realized that, uh, it, so it will solve like a three by three. Uh, it's just a little bit uh, different for the identification of, of what things are. If you normally start with say a, a white cross, uh, there's really no benefit to any any center here. So uh, we're just going to pick one. Uh, you may find one that's already got one in place and just start with that. Uh, don't know if I saw one or not. We'll just grab one here and start. So, uh, pink blue. So I find a pink blue edge and I'll put that up there. And uh, green pink. And green yellow. And blue yellow. So at this point, we've built our 3x3 cross where we're matching to the center and along each of our edges here. And we're going to put our corners in place. And to know which corner, you can now easily look at these colors right here and here. And I know this is going to be that color. So I need a yellow here. There's one here. And uh, this is the right one. Uh, I just need to rotate it. <clears throat> and you'll see that the colors line up here and here. There is another yellow, and it, it would not match those uh, if you were to do that. So let's take the blue. There's a blue underneath here. I'm just going to grab it. And that is my rightly correct one. So we're just going to put that in. Uh, I need my pink. Here's a pink. And I th think this might be the wrong one. I'm trying to... Actually, that is still the right one. And green. Let's grab. Now we got the two greens. If you get the wrong one, uh, which this is the wrong one, I'll show you what happens here. Uh, I've got the, the pink matched here, but this is blue uh, because the, the order is backwards. So that's what will happen if you get the, the wrong one. So we'll put the right one up here. and we've now done our first layer. Now before we do the edges here, we need to make sure all our centers are oriented properly. And we're going to do that by, I look, if I turn this one over 180 degrees, the green uh, will be where it needs to be here. So what I need to do is take these three pieces and move them out of the way so I can rotate this. So I'm going to move them down here and then over here. So they're now down over here. Now I'm going to rotate that the 180 degrees I needed and I'm going to put it back. And now I've got my center oriented properly. So this one uh, I can also see is 180 degrees. So I'm going to do that exact same move. There's my 180 degree turn and I'm putting them back. And there we go. This one is uh, Right here, I know that needs to go 90 degrees away from me. So I'm going to go two down, two over, 90 degrees away from me, and then bring these back. And there we go. And then finally, this one needs to go 90 degrees towards me. So I'm going to take my 180, 180 towards me, and then put them back. <clears throat> and at this point, we've got all of our centers oriented and we're ready for our edges. Now, I got green, blue, and those are all locked up, so let's grab a different one. Let's go, here's pink. Pink, yellow needs to go up, and it needs to go from this to this, like that. 
So this would be a typical 3x3 three three where you've got an edge and it needs to move up in this direction. And there I've inserted that. Yellow, pink. We're going to go, this one is going to go the other way. It's going to go this way, so that is the opposite move. Then we're going to have a blue and a green, which we do have one in there, which is already wrong. Um, so we're just going to take this other one and put it up there. And I see that this needs to go to the to the left. So put that one in there. <clears throat> and then the piece that we just pulled out is actually going to go in on the other side here. Here's green and blue. Here's my green and blue. And I can see I need to go up this way. Okay. So at this point, we've got the first two layers uh, are done <clears throat> and we need to look at our final layer. So this is where identification can be a little tricky. Sometimes you got to turn them around a little bit. Uh, but what we're looking for is to see if we have a dot case, a line case, or an L. And so I've got this one's correct. So I know we've got this one right. <clears throat> uh, I know this one is wrong. I, I'm looking at the centers here. Uh, this one is wrong, uh, so this one here is right. So we have a line case, because this one is correct and this one is correct. We'll just ignore the center for right now. So with this being a line, I need to do uh, an orientation maneuver for that. And I will end up with this, which should have everything aligned properly now. Uh, but not necessarily in the right spot. So I can see I've got a match here, and I can see I've got a match here. And then these two are correct, but they are in the wrong spots. So they need to swap. So I'm going to go ahead and do that swap right now. <clears throat> and we now have all of our uh, centers, uh, or all of our edges are correct. Now our center is actually rotated 180 degrees, which is one of the cases we can have, uh, and I'll do an ELG to fix that. There's another possibility that this would be rotated 90 degrees, and there isn't really an ELG for that. What you need to do if you get a 90 degree offset here is to take an edge from here, take it out, and put it over on the other side, and then take that one and put it over here. So just insert any random one, put it in, and do that, uh, because that is a parity case if that happens. But this is easy. Uh, we're just going to rotate that 180 degrees, and the alg for that is R U R prime U, and we're going to do that five times. So two, <clears throat> three, four, five, and now our center is correct. Now our final corners. Uh, we know what color we want this to be. We need that to be yellow. Uh, we're looking to see if we got any of these, and I've got my blue is correct. So these three corners will need to cycle. And so I'm just going to do that. And they will need to cycle one more time. <clears throat> so now every corner is going to have the right color, and these just need to turn to their final positions. So uh, I'm going to flip it over because I'm comfortable doing it this way. And uh, that one is now correct. I'm going to go to the next one. And that one is now correct. Correct, and this one will be four moves here. And at this point, we have solved the truncated dueling tetra. There you go. I hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to leave comments down below.
and uh, I hope you enjoyed this all video. Thank you.